Mr. President, the witness, Ms. Kanoya, has been sworn and signed the oath of witness. Is your name Yasuko Kanoi? And are you the wife of Hidemaro Kanoi, the younger brother of the late Prince Kanoi? この and during the period of 1930 to 1940, I, as his stenographer, took in shorthand the notes of the late Baron Kumar Harada. I have been shown by Mr. J.G. Lambert, IPS investigator, a photostatic copy of this finished transcription, which I recognize as the memoirs of Baron Harada written by me in my own handwriting. These notes taken by me in shorthand were transcribed in Japanese by me and given to Baron Harada for approval. Baron Harada took the transcription to Prince Kimochi Sayonji for corrections and suggestions. I began reading one question earlier, the bottom of 488. You just said, Mrs. Kanoi, that Satomi's corrections do not appear on that document. To what document are you referring? answer to the manuscript which Harada took to Sayonji for correction. Then it goes on as I read. その前の一つ質問を答えます。その前にはこういう質問がありました。え、商人、あなたはたった今、え、里見の訂正はえ、その書類に現れてないと言いました。その書類とはどの書類を指しているのですか?それに対する答え。え、それは原田が西園寺のところへ訂正のために持ってった原稿であります。それ、次に私が先ほど読み上げた質疑応答があったのです。Then the last question is at the top of page 37490. You state in your affidavit as follows. I have been shown by Mr. J.G. Lambert, IPS investigator, a photostatic copy of this finished transcription which I recognize as the memoirs of Baron Harada written by me in my own handwriting. Is that photostatic copy that you saw a copy of the document you just spoke about? Answer, yes. Answer, yes. You may object at any stage, but not to what a judge is going to ask. It would appear to me, Tribunal, please, mm, that the method in which Mr. Carr wrote these questions by taking the middle questions, then one previous and one subsequent, and superimposed on the question which Your Honor has asked, this witness, and I don't follow it myself, I don't know what document is being referred to. Uh, please, I would like to enter an objection because, as I tried to point out yesterday, I think maybe the court will see it now, there may be two original documents, and there has been no document shown and identified. I understand they're so large you couldn't bring them in the courtroom. That we have just been considering. If, as Ollendorf and these other defendants tell us, Hitler did order the Einsatz to execute all Jews and political officials, and if, in obedience to Hitler's order, such executions were carried out, then there is less than nothing left of defenses such as lack of knowledge, or that the victims of the executions were all partisans. And in fact, the documents make it clear beyond the slightest doubt, doubt where the truth lies. The order for the mass executions of Jews and political officials was given, and it was carried out. And there remains for consideration only the question whether the fact that these defendants acted pursuant to an order shall be held to better their position before this tribunal in any way. Now, the general principles of international law, international penal law, with respect to the effect of superior orders on responsibility, are by no established.